Hey guys, Monochrome here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Genuinely good to have you. Today we're taking a look at the Smith & Wesson Tactical Pen. Now this is a tactical pen that I have owned for easily over 10 years. I've EDC'd it off and on and I'm mostly happy with it. This is a really good tactical pen that won't break the bank and is generally well constructed. Now, as with all items which are not firearms, this particular tactical pen obviously is not made by Smith & Wesson. They subcontracted out the work to another company to make it for them and to put their name on the clip and their logo. And that's not a knock against Smith & Wesson. A lot of companies do that. Generally, when you're dealing with a company well known for one particular type of product and you see them branching out into other products, chances are they're subcontracting out the work to another company. Very rarely, very rarely, will they tool up, spend tons of money, spend manpower and time on research and development. It's just easier to subcontract out the work to a company that's already done all of that and say, hey, put our logo put our name on this product. That's just how it is. So that's not a knock against Smith & Wesson. Length of this pen in the closed position as you see it now is five and three-fourths of an inch. So a little bit longer than your typical tactical pen nowadays. But that's definitely a good thing because when you have this in hand and you're capping the end for a good solid grip, check out how much you got protruding from the bottom of your fist. So I like a little bit of extra length on my tactical pens. Um, five inches is normally the bare minimum that I like on my tactical pens. Less than that, and you're really compromising their effectiveness as a self-defense tool, at least in my opinion. But yeah, let's take a look at this. And construction is aluminum alloy. As usual, guys, I will have specs in the description box below. Check that out when the video is over. I don't normally make dedicated videos to individual tactical pens. A while back I made a video that teaches what to look for when selecting a good tactical pen. But this particular one, I've had it for such a long time and it's been so reliable I decided to make a video on it. Now I have heard rumors and that's all they are, rumors, that this particular pen is discontinued. The thing is, though, if you go and you check online stores now, you're going to see it sold out in a lot of places. Well, that's because of the holiday shopping season and last-minute gift buying. So that's not a good indicator as to whether or not this guy is sold out because it's discontinued or because it's just the holiday shopping season. So please keep that in mind. But yeah, you have a nice flat top. Not pointed, not rounded, flat. That's how it should be nice and flat. So when this is in your fist as a self-defense tool, you can cap the end of that comfortably with your thumb and this thing isn't going anywhere 
when it comes time to strike an attacker a couple of times in the face before disengaging and running off. Just like all tactical pens, this is not designed to be a stand there and fight toe-to-toe -to -toe self-defense tool. This is a couple of strikes to the face and take off running tool. So nice and flat, you have two screws holding the clip in place and as you can see, I believe the clip is black painted stainless steel. Clips are usually stainless steel even if the rest of the pen is aluminum alloy, like this one. But yeah, you got two small screws holding the clip in place and because of that this is not a low profile clip and quite frankly on a tactical pen that's the way it should be you really want this clip all the way up here well what are you gonna grab on to if there's an attacker coming towards you you got no place to run you gotta stand and defend yourself and this pen is seated in your pocket all the way up to the pocket seam. How are you going to grab that in a hurry? Seriously. With this pen, you got that much sticking out of your pocket seam. And, yeah, I can definitely tell you from experience, that is plenty, plenty of cap for you to reach down and grab it quickly, pull it out of your pocket. When it's like this at the very top of your pocket seam, uh, good luck grabbing that in a hurry. Seriously, I'm sick and tired of hearing about, oh, low profile pocket clips, low profile pocket clips on tactical pens, on tactical knives. Yeah, that's great. So you're just playing pretend that you're carrying it as a self-defense tool. Or hey, maybe you're someone who carries a tactical knife exclusively for non-self-defense purposes. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. But, you know, if that's not the case and you are thinking about self-defense use of your tactical pen or your tactical knife, yeah, a low-profile carry clip is stupid. I'm just going to say it. Because you need material to grab onto. It's just that simple. So I definitely like that this clip is mounted low instead of high. Clip, quite good. It's tight enough without being too tight. And it's definitely not so loose that it'll come falling out of your pocket. Very good clip. Now you have three grooves here, three grooves here, and they go all around the pen cap. They look as though they're completely shallow and just for show. Honestly, there is a bit of traction with the grooves, especially the three up here, when you're reaching for the pen to pull it out of your pocket. It's not a ton of traction, but it is there. These grooves aren't just there for show. They're a bit functional, so that's good. Going on further down, you have these flutes, this fluted area all around the tapered body. Now that's great for when you have this in your hand as a hammer fist enhancer, because your last two bottom fingers are going to get plenty of grip thanks to these deep cut flutes in the body. Further down, you have this rather aggressive groove over here. That's mostly for show. And then you have a tapered end. Now, there is not a glass breaker on the end. It's solid aluminum no glass breaker tip it's just a tapered end and this thing thanks to its length of nearly six inches is fantastic as a hammer fist enhancer along with the flat top 
and the definitely non low profile carry clip which again on a tactical pen that you might use for self-defense that's a must all right now if there's one thing I don't like about it you don't get any o-rings so when this cap is screwed down onto the body of the pen there's no o-rings there have been times when I have carried this clip to the back of a pants pocket and I'm sitting standing moving around all day sometimes I'll reach for it just to write something down because this makes an excellent very durable EDC pen if you're someone constantly accidentally breaking your pens this is gonna be a great EDC pen just for writing but yeah there have been times when I'll reach for the pen and it's never been something where I'll reach for the cap pull it out of my pocket and this is all that comes out but there have been quite a number of countless times when I'll reach for it and yeah the cap is loose now usually that's not an issue but when you need this to actually defend yourself a loose cap just doesn't feel right in the hand so again no o-rings whatsoever I have found though that before starting out my day if I am carrying this guy I'll just pull it out of a pocket I'll make sure that clip is nice and tight put it back into a pocket and I'm usually good for a few hours maybe check it again make sure it's good and tight no issues there but yeah the lack of an o-ring is a minor negative to some it's going to be a huge negative another possible negative depending on your work environment or depending on the settings that you frequent the places you go to that Smith & Wesson name on the clip mm, yeah that might not be a good thing especially in a work environment where you're surrounded by hoplophobes yeah I mean you might want to carry a different pen in that type of setting because even the most hateful individual people who hate the Second Amendment they hate guns they hate people who own guns they fear your freedom yeah they're not going to respond well if they notice this pen sitting on your work desk mm -hmm. and especially if one of those hoplophobes happens to be your boss mm -mm. so yeah please keep that in mind use your common sense about where you use this pen as a writing instrument other than that though it has been a fantastic pen and I highly recommend it okay guys that's it for today Please stay safe. I'll see you next time.